Ronaldo helps Al Nasser to historic win in Iran. Five-time Ballon d'Or winner Ronaldo, who has five UCL titles to his name, captained the Saudi side to an opening three points in Group E. Cristiano Ronaldo enjoyed a winning debut in the Asian Champions League as he helped Al Nasser to a 2-0 victory against 10-man Persepolis in Iran, Tuesday night. The five-time Ballon d'Or winner, who has five UEFA Champions League titles to his name, captained the Saudi Arabian side to an opening three points in Group E. The match at Azadi Stadium in Tehran was played without fans after Asian Football Confederation upheld a one-game ban for Persepolis supporters dating back to 2021. That clearly helped Al Nasser, who grabbed both goals in the second half against the two-time runners-up, through a Daniel Esmailifar own goal and a fine strike by defender Mohamed Qasim. It marked the first time a Saudi club played in Iran since 2016, after the AFC announced a groundbreaking agreement earlier this month between the two countries' federations. Iran and Saudi Arabia severed diplomatic ties seven years ago, meaning Asian Champions League matches had been since played at neutral grounds. Ronaldo, 38, was heavily involved throughout, twice going close in the first half. His initial chance, a powerful, close-range header was sent straight at Persepolis goalkeeper Alareza Berenvand, which left Ronaldo beating the post in frustration. Al Nasser's hopes grew considerably at the beginning of the second half, when Persepolis midfielder Milad Sarlak was given a second yellow card, this time for appearing to stamp on Ronaldo's boot. Replays showed it was unintentional, the contact minimal. Ronaldo played a key role in Al Nasser's opener just after the hour, the Portuguese instigating the move that led to Abdulhaman Garib's blocked shot, cannoning off Persepolis, fullback Esmailifar, and nestling in the net. Ten minutes later, Al Nasser, left-back Mohamed Qasim, broke down the left and thumped his shot high past Berenvand to double the visitors' advantage and secure the points. In the group's other match, Iran's Istiklal were held to a goalless draw in Dushanbe by Qatari heavyweights Al Duhail. In Group A, 2003 winners Al Ain secured an impressive 3-0 victory at Paktakor in Tashkent, while Turkmenistan's side Ahal defeated Saudi opponents Al Fayha 1-0 at home to record only a second win in the competition. In the East Asian side of the draw, South Korea's Incheon United opened their Group G account with a 4-2 win over J-League champions Yokohama F. Marinos in Japan. As a result, Incheon sit on three points alongside Chinese Super League side Shandong Taishan, who were made to work for their 3-1 victory in Manila over Kaya FC Iloilo of the Philippines. In Group I, South Korean champions and 2020 Asian Champions League winners Ulsan Hyundai won at home over Thailand's BG Patham United 3-1, while Japan's Kawasaki Frontale saw off hosts Johor Darul Tazim 1-0 in Malaysia. The group stage, which this year returned to a home-and-away format for the first time since early 2020, runs until mid-December, with the 10 pool winners and the six best second-place teams advancing to the knockout rounds. That begins in February with the final taking place across two legs in May.